Alright guys, we're gonna start off at one end of the buffet here. Subscribe! Okay, so we got... Oh wow! It kind of looks like a uh, snow crab, but they're a little bit pointy. But uh, it looks good, looking pretty good guys. I almost said king crab because of the pointiness, but it looks like snow crab guys. Alright. And next to that, we got the shrimp. They're looking pretty big. And here we have the selection of Dungeness crab. Beautiful. Okay, now we got some uh, papaya salad, seaweed salad. Hi, Danny hey, the Medic. Danny, we're fans hey. of your channel. We love you. All right, yes. we got viewers. Yay. Hey, do subscribe. you guys watch? You guys subscribe, subscribe right? Well, they no. watch when we're watching, no. but yeah. <laughs> ah, subscribe. <laughs> and now we have a selection of sushi items. Selection, guys. Of which one has been selected. And these are vegetables. And now we have a selection of Nikiri and Maki. Pretty nice, guys. And now we have the station that we have to work for. We got to lift to see what it is. We have uh, chicken wings. We have green stuff. White stuff. Nothing. Brown stuff. And whatever that is. And this is their famous egg drop soup station. It's nothing but egg drop soup, guys. Only at the Win Las Vegas. We have the fried rice, pad thai, as well as the uh, Thai beef and basil. And here, they make tortillas for you. As you can see, like uh, tortilla stuff. Kind of like tacos, maybe. All right. Now we got the carving station over here. So over here, they cut you some meat. And over here, they cut you some more meat. And over here, they cut you some more meat. And here, along vegetables, they cut you some meat. Carving station, guys. See, he's cutting it right now. Oh wow, he chopped that one. And here we got a pork station, including the pig that's looking at you. Howdy. Pork stuff, guys. And now we got small things like shrimp, asparagus, cream spinach, and fingerling potatoes. If for some reason you want bread at the buffet, they have bread, even bread in the form of sticks. We have BBQ chicken, ribs, stuffed sole, and we got mac and cheese with pork belly and mashed potatoes. Now this one is called the Mongolian roasted crab and shrimp or pawns if you want to be fancy. Now how do I know this guys? The sign's right here. Mongolian roasted crab and pawns. Looking pretty good. And now we have street corn that's not on the cob. Beans. This one's called carnitas. And pollo asado. Shrimp scampi. And lamb stew. Now we have over here, cod, chicken, this here is a pork tamale, and zucchini and squash, and more pork skin guys. And this is the pizza station. Pizza, pizza, pizza. We got melted butter and snow crab legs that are hot for you. And lemons. Grilled oysters. And this is a tuna 
Togashi. And here we have seafood scampi with clams and a uh, piece of salmon. So this be the cheese station. Hello. And here we have some bread. We can skip the bread, guys. And over here we got the Italian style cold cuts. Yeah. Uh -huh. And this is the soup station, guys. We got chicken noodle, vegetable, New England clam chowder, and cream of tomato bisque. Enough soup for you to shake a stick at. And if you want a uh, fancy juice, I got fancy juice. And over here we got fresh fruit. Oh wow, the strawberries are looking really fresh. That is some good looking strawberries, guys. And here we have the caviar bar. We have here things to put the caviar on. Some vegetables, I guess. And different things that go onto your caviar. Very nice, guys. Very colorful. The salad bar featuring smoked salmon, watermelon, and feta. Here's a tuna salad with pieces of actual tuna. That's interesting, guys. And over here, we got strawberry walnut salad. Croutons. And over here, we got the regular salad stuff. And here we are at the Dessert Peninsula, where they have you know, what you see is what you get, guys. Very easily recognizable items over here with cakes and cookies and pies and you know, all kinds of dessert stuff over here. It's looking really good. Now we have the wheel of ice cream over here where you can spin it and win a prize, maybe. There it goes. Let's see who's the winner. And we got things to put on top. And here are the other side of the dessert peninsula. We got little desserts on this side. You know, for I know I much prefer the little ones. So you can sample more stuff. Hi, how you doing? A lot of little stuff for you guys. A lot of little stuff for you. And over here is the crepe station. It's made to order. Wonderful looking crepes. And we got some uh, little dry goods over here. And this is the end of the buffet line. That's it, guys. All right, let's get something to eat. All right, guys. Now, these are the viewers. Yay! All right, they're not saying anything because I don't have enough microphones, that's all. All right, let's eat, let's eat. <laughs> so to start off, I tried to make a face out of the caviar, but the lady just didn't scoop it nice enough. But let's see how it tastes. It's a small table here today, guys. So I'm gonna have to lift up my food to show you guys. All right, so I'm gonna try the orange one. Here we go. It tastes like the stuff from the sushi place. You know. Wait, right, I'm gonna try the green one. That's my favorite color. It's gotta be the best. Yeah? Mmm. Mm. The green ones are harder than the orange ones. Got a, like a harder shell to it or something. Now, the yellow one.
the yellow one is kind of like the orange one. No, it's not like the orange one. I don't know what to make of this. I like it. 8.5. And now we have some uh, sushi items. Got the salmon avocado and the California. And I'm gonna elevate it by adding some of that fish eggs from before, white on top. It's like fancy, isn't it? All right, so let's try their California roll. It's okay. I tried one more piece and I'll form an opinion. I'm dipping it into this hair soy sauce. Eight. Pretty darn good, guys. There are Cucumber, crunchy, crunchy guys. Right, salmon avocado. There we go. Dipping. The wasabi is getting me, guys. Pretty good. Eight for the salmon avocado. And now, I have one random shrimp from the shrimp cocktail station, some hot snow crab legs, and a little bit of what I hope to be butter. So, now I have the random shrimp from the shrimp cocktail station. As you can see, it's been deveined, which means that the uh, digestive tract has been removed. Although some people prefer the taste of it. You get to eat what the shrimp ate. All right, so let's give it a try. It's a good quality shrimp. Eight, pretty good. Nothing wrong with it at all. You know, I believe it was a uh, farm raised shrimp doesn't got that ocean taste to it but anyway let's move on to hot snow crab legs I remove what I refer to as plastic Cheers, guys. Butter? Mm, I hope so. There's a lot of places they use like this carton of stuff that looks that yeah. supposedly be a butter substitute. It's so bad for your health. good, solid, quality crab legs. They're not as large as some other places, but they're good and solid, good and meaty. 8.8 8 8 .8 for the crab legs, guys. Pretty darn good. And now we have a piece of pork rib, Dungeness crab, this is their Thai beef, and this is the prime rib. And no, guys, this is not blood, okay? The comments below were like, oh my god, there's so much blood. 
This is not blood. All right, here we go. So first, this here pork rib. It's like an eight. It got a good flavor to it. Now, they call this the rib, but what you're actually eating is the intercostal muscle, not the rib. The ribs are the stuff that you leave on the plate when you're done. All right, moving along. Dungeness crab. I would give it an eight. It would be more if it wasn't so darn cold. But then I guess it has to be cold, right? Like it was like maybe 40 degrees. It's pretty darn cold, guys. All right, now the Thai beef. The Thai beef is quite spicy and yet flavorful. I wish I had a bowl of white rice to go with this. It's so good. Oh, oh. That was tea. I get another glass. Mm. Very flavorful, guys. Nine for the Thai beef. Wow. Got like some sort of like maybe string beans or something. Okay. Mm. Right. Now we shall try the prime rib, which they call the garlic crusted prime rib. So let's give that a try, guys. I guess uh, first the cap. It's good. It's well seasoned, tender. And now a uh, part of the eye. Also very tender, not as flavorful as the cap. And the lobster claws has come out, guys. Hidden behind the crab legs in the beginning of the walkthrough. So I got that, some seafood pad thai, as well as a piece of pork with turkey gravy on it because they didn't have pork gravy. All right, let's give this a try. And so now we have lobster claw. Not too big, but as you can see, they try to cut it and uh, it's been cut a few times. You, can you see it? Right? So I guess you just got to grab it and pull it apart. Maybe not, guys. Let's try the other one. That's why I get two. Here we go. Son of a... You know what? I'm not gonna bother with the lobster claws. 
Let's move on to the noodles. Seafood Pad Thai. Seven. I believe that Pad Thai should be, uh, you know, freshly stir fried just for you at a Thai restaurant. Pad Thai sitting out for a while in the buffet. Not, not as good as it can be. All right, I can give the lobster claw another try. Here we go. All right, I got some meat, guys. Here we go, got some meat. It's waterlogged. I say no to the lobster claw. What do you think of the lobster claw? I didn't even taste it. What do you think of it? Full of water, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, boo. So, uh, I guess it's not dangerous for your health. So, it gets a five for the lobster claw. But now I got lobster claw water all over my pork. But we'll give that a try anyway. All right, here we go. Uh, six for the pork. It's uh, very lean, extremely lean and dry. It's been cooked well done. Like very, very well done. So let me try the other end that has some gravy on it. Maybe the gravy would help. Same thing guys, same thing. Right, next plate. And now finally we come to the dessert. I have here the guava crepe. And I shoved this thing in there because I didn't have uh, enough hands to hold it. And over here a little piece of what may be strawberry cake. Let's give this a try. Okay, so first the thing I shoved in there. It looks like the torch from the Statue of Liberty. Mmm. Nine. Nine and a half. Really good. Mmm. Got the crunchiness to it. So good. Mmm.
It's weird. It's not that it's bad. The flavoring is different. It's like... There's a brown part and then there's a pink part. The brown part tastes significantly different than the pink part. It does, it's not a good combination, the two different flavors. I, I, I don't know what flavor the brown part is. It tastes like just like a mouthful of brown sugar or something. Anyway, I eat the strawberry and we'll move on to the crepe. So first, the ball of uh, what they say is a guava or something. Wow, it's like eating a guava. Oh, the aftertaste of guava lingers to even this very moment. I can, wow, it lasts you a long time, guys. Long time. I can still taste it. All right, nine for this uh, very long lasting guava ball. Now for the crepe itself. As you can see, it's more cooked on this side than it is on this side. Can you see the contrast? Oh, it's a little, but anyway, it's like paper thin. They did a really good job on it. Very, very thin, guys. You can bunch it up. A very neutral tasting crepe. I'm trying to put some uh, this guava stuff on it. Delicious, delicious. Nine and a half for this crepe. I mean like, I have great tasting crepes all over the place. And this is one of them, right? It looks like somebody's underwear. Did you know how you, 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 you lift it up from the hamper? Who left this hair? I never had a crepe so thin, but yet, you know, unbreakable. It's like a piece of cloth. <laughs> I shouldn't play with my food. Put it in the comments below. I feel like a kid, so sorry. Let's eat the underwear. Seriously, I never had a crepe being able to flex like that. Never. All right. So, thank you for watching the video. Uh, you know, you've seen it, right? The um, you know the price is what the price is. You be the judge. What do you think? Put it in the comments below. And um, I'm gonna see if I can find Summer, the manager to tell you about their uh, summer special. So the meal is over and I can't find Summer. Summer has left for the day. Maybe next time we'll get Summer on camera. All right, thank you, have a good one. You All right. Well.